Hey YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to download Windows 10 and install it on your uh, virtual box, uh, your Oracle virtual box machine. Um, so I, I was uh, kind of browsing the internet and I found out that um, you could download uh, Windows 10 without the product key. So doing some research I found that uh, Microsoft's actually become a little lenient on people downloading their uh, OS, Windows 10, uh, especially Windows 10, and running it without a product key with some uh, limitation, and but the limitations are minor. It's uh, basically uh, uh, cosmetics, and there's always uh, ways around it. So um, for all you uh, people out there who are doing security and want a, a full version of Windows 10 to work with, uh, to um, Play around with when it comes to uh, security and vulnerability and penetration testing. This is uh, uh, the best uh, Windows uh, operating system uh, version that you can download for your uh, virtual box. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, so here it is, uh, Microsoft uh, Windows site. Um, this link will be down in the description, so don't worry about. Uh, writing this down right now so just uh, later on just go ahead and go to the description and click on the link also I'll also include a link to uh, VirtualBox if um, that loaning VirtualBox if you guys haven't done that already so um, so when you're here after you click on a link what you want to do is uh, look for this looking to install Windows 10 on your PC it's the download tool now so we want to download the toolkit first so I'll go ahead and click on that and download it uh, I already downloaded it, so I'm going to go ahead and open it right here and uh, go ahead and install it. Uh, so, do you want yes? Um, all right, it takes a little bit for it to pop up. Here we go. So, getting a few things ready. This might take a little bit, so just bear with me, folks. All right, so uh, basically this is the notice and license terms. You can read it if you want. Uh, if not, uh, just go ahead and, um, or after you read it, uh, just go ahead and press accept. All right, so uh, it's gonna come, come up with a, two choices, uh, basically of what you wanna do. Uh, either upgrade to a PC now or create installation media for another PC. What we want to do is create installation media for another PC. Go ahead and press next. Uh, just go ahead and choose uh, whatever it is that you want to choose. Uh, but in my case, it's going to be English, uh, Windows 10, and it's going to be 64-bit. Um, if you want to change it, just uncheck that and make the change. I'm just going to go ahead and use the recommended option for this PC and press next all right so uh, basically if you want to create a USB flash drive to install to do a hard hard install uh, on a computer you want to create the USB flash drive if not uh, we need the iOS file um, to pin it to our uh, virtual machine uh, go ahead and press next and I'm gonna go ahead and save it where do I want to save it at let's see here I'm going to save it right here where all my other OS are. I'm going to call this one Windows 10. There you go. Save. And uh, folks, this is going to take a while, so I'll be right back. Hey, folks. All right, so I'm back. Um, so it looks like it took about 15 minutes to download the Windows uh, 10. ISO and it went also went through a verification process which takes about another seven minutes or so uh, so roughly took about 22 uh, 22 minutes roughly to download the whole thing so uh, here we are now at uh, burn the ISO file to a DVD and um, that's fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on my hard drive uh, and go ahead and finish It's saying that this might take a minute. Whoops. Okay, and I believe that's it. 
Um, so go ahead and uh, if you haven't already install your virtual box if you have uh, just go ahead and double click on it and uh, we're gonna create a new virtual box instance so the first thing you want to do is click new and we want to call this one Windows 10 and 64-bit uh, go ahead and press next and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one four gig. And uh, create a virtual uh, hard disk now is what you wanna choose. Create. Uh, yep, keep it at virtual box disk image. Next, uh, you wanna create a dynamically allocated uh, hard drive. Next, and uh, I'm gonna keep it at 32. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one just in case it doesn't work. Might need to uh, upgrade it to a little bit more. All right, so it's uh, instance complete there. Once it's there, just go ahead and click settings. And um, I think we wanna keep that one default, that default, that default. Uh, we wanna get rid of floppy. <clears throat> and hmm, that's about it for that one processor I think I'm gonna if you have it bump it up to uh, two if you can if not you can keep it at one it'll still work all right display 128 that's fine I'll enable 3d acceleration whoops go back here remote display video capture that's fine Storage, uh, this is where we want to um, install our um, Windows ISO. So where it says empty right here, just go ahead and highlight it. Click this little disk image right here. And choose it from uh, optical file. And uh, just remember where you installed it. I called it Windows 10, so it's right here. Double click. And there it is right there. Let's look at audio. That's that's fine. Network. Uh, let's go ahead and put it to bridge adapter. That way we're borrowing from the host to um, to get out to the internet. Um, make sure there's no other adapter involved here. Let's go to advance really quick. Make sure. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that. All right. And uh, serial port. Looks good. USB 2.0 enabled, that's fine. Share folder, I'll deal with it later. All right, so go ahead and press OK and double click on it to run it. All right, here we go. Looks like it's running. Get rid of that. All right, this might circle for a little bit. Uh, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, didn't take too much, uh, didn't take too much time. So uh, just verify the language that you're going to be installing in and the keyboard. I'm going to keep US and I'm going to keep it English. Uh, and next, I'm going to click install now. All right, uh, so right here, folks, it's going to ask you for the product key. Um, you can put one in here if you if you have one, um, but you don't have to. You can just go ahead and click I don't have a product key, and um, it'll go to the next one. Uh, it's going to ask you what you want to download. I'm going to go ahead and download Windows 10 Pro, and I'm going to click Next. All right, uh, this is the terms. Uh, go ahead and read it and accept the terms. Next. 
And it's going to ask you to either you want to uh, upgrade, install Windows, and keep files and settings and application, or custom install, install Windows only. We want to go to install Windows only. And uh, it's going <clears> to, <throat> this is the allocated space that you created virtually uh, from the machine. So this is a virtual hard space. So just go ahead and click next on this. And now it's going to go through and copy Windows files and get the files ready for installation and install the features and updates and, uh, and it's going to uh, do all that. This might take a couple minutes so I'm going to be right back folks. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, it looks like uh, it uh, installed the file and um, and went through all the setup. So that took about, uh, I would say, 10 minutes or so. Uh, but now it's, uh, we got the hourglass or the, the turning circles. Uh, so it looks like it's uh, um, going to uh, install it and start up for the first time on virtual machines. So um, stay tuned. All right, so here we are. It says press any key to boot from CD. Don't press anything, just let it go. And again, we'll get this uh, circling, churning, circular thingy. And it looks like it's doing something. So uh, it's asking here if, um, um, on how you want to do the setup, customize, or use Express setting. I'm just going to go ahead and use Express setting. All right, um, it's going to ask if uh, you're using this for school or if you own it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click I own it and then uh, select next. Um, hmm. It's going to ask you to create an email and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this stuff for now, but you can, you can enter your phone number, your email, and the password if you have a Microsoft account. Uh, if you don't, uh, you can create one here. Uh, otherwise, you can skip the step two. And uh, this particular piece, uh, create an account for this PC. I'm just going to go ahead and use, call it user one right now and just give it a password real quick and um, I don't know all right um, we can use Cortana or or uh, we can set it up later I'm just gonna go ahead and just say not now for the sake of uh, time, I'm just going to go ahead and bypass this part. All right, looks like we are in, folks. So here is your Windows 10 on VirtualBox. Um, you didn't have to put in a product key. Uh, basically, there's going to be a little bit of cosmetic limitations like uh, watermark and stuff. But outside of that, you got a full version of uh, Windows 10 to use. Uh, forever on your virtual machine. So hopefully you guys uh, 
like this uh, video. If you do, just go ahead and subscribe and press like. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. I'll see you later.